everybody. I hope everybody's staying safe, staying healthy out there. There's all this craziness going on with coronavirus and everything. So, you know, be safe, hand sanitizer, all that good stuff. I don't have to talk about it too much. Everybody's already talking about it. So, um, just really quick, I just did a run from SoCal to Phoenix. I brought out um, some freight and two cars and the total was $1,195. It was 319 loaded miles, so that was really good. And I delivered all that this morning, picked it up yesterday, like a half day. I worked yesterday, not even half, just loading the stuff. Two, two picks yesterday and then I dropped them off to five different places today after 319 miles of driving and uh, so $1,195 out and then I was able to pick up the my backhaul which is on the trailer now it's uh, two vehicles I'll show you guys in a bit and um, that totaled yeah $575 it's I'm tired $575 going back and I'll um, I've got like 300 miles to drive back in the morning and then deliver these two vehicles and uh, so it's only gonna be like a half day tomorrow as well and so two full shifts but over three days and uh, $1,720 total and it'll be it should be under 800 miles total so pretty good you know decent I had um, you know some other stuff going on I had a short week this week because I am dealing with uh, the enterprise rental return that I have to take care of and then you know getting myself you know you can't run loads without a truck so getting myself into another truck and um, I'll tell you guys about that later. It's still not completely done. But um, just a short week, you know, quick run. And I'm going to show you guys the loads right now. Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. It's Natalie, Hotshot Adventures. I just wanted to go over my load really quick. So this is it. That's like an O2 Acura. That is a 10 foot freight partial. It's actually four pallets under that tarp. And then that's like an 04 Toyota 4Runner. So that's the load. It was two picks. This all came from the same facility and then the two vehicles also came uh, from the same shipper and they're going to the same destination. So it was two picks, but it's actually four or five, five drops. So, and it's SoCal to Phoenix. It's all Phoenix area. Um, another prime example of freight versus cars. So, uh, four pallets, four stops, all in Phoenix, all in Phoenix. And that pays $775. And then the two vehicles, I don't normally haul multiple vehicles from the same location. Um, and this is the reason why. Uh, these two vehicles, it's almost like 400 miles. Uh, it's like 350 miles. And these two vehicles combined are paying $420. So, and they're taking up over 30 feet of deck space. So, another prime example. Um, I normally, if I'm gonna haul two vehicles like that, I'll normally um, pick and choose, you know, two separate vehicles because um, the money is usually better that way. But, you know, with all of this health stuff going around and everything, I just wanted to fill the trailer and go and make it quick and easy to get in and out. So I just picked up these two vehicles, but again, another prime example of freight versus cars. Okie dokie. So this is the backhaul from Phoenix. The truck I picked up like less than 15 miles from my last delivery, which the last delivery I made earlier today was the two vehicles that I had on my trailer from this morning. 
So that picked up really close to my last delivery, which was in Chandler, I believe, or Mesa. And then I had planned a different van, but uh, it was retrofitted really funky. And I won't get into too much detail about it, but I have drive over fenders. You guys can see that. So I have drive over fenders. You can see the other side too. Um, see that? So, focus, focus. Okay, well, you saw it for a second. I have drive over fenders and um, the van had like two steps on the outside of it. Um, so like you had to step up three times to get into the van. And that second step, that second side step was um, sticking out from the van and then it was gonna hit my fenders, my drive over fenders. So I opted to uh, leave it there. So instead, I, uh, I had that trailer, or I had that van halfway on my, why isn't this thing focusing? I had that van halfway on my trailer and then I pulled it off and took it back to the dealership and I jumped on Central Dispatch and I found this one. Actually, this one's paying $100 more, but it's going like 40 or 50 miles a little bit farther. Um, well, probably 40 miles. But uh, anyways, this one's paying 350 and then that one's paying a buck 75 cheap bastards. Uh, so all in all, that's 525 and it should be under 400 miles. Yeah, it'll be just under 400 miles and it's 525. And I came out here, the loaded miles was 320 miles. I came out here and I dropped five drops in the Phoenix area out of SoCal. And that one paid me $11.95. So with the out trip and the back haul, that's this, um, it's $1,720. I did my full 14 hour shift today, um, my full 14 hours today, and just made it to the rest area. And um, so I'm, I'm taking my 10 right now. And then I am going home I have like another 300 miles to go and so I'll be delivering the van mid-morning tomorrow like 11 or something 10 11 and then this one right after and then I should be home in 